Next, what I'm going to demonstrate is sheen collet. And to do sheen collet is basically gluing an image into your print at the same time that you're printing. So I have this little photocopy here that I'm going to sheen collet into this. And it's helpful to get a little cardboard chip. We have these little mat board chips. And this is our nori paste. Sheen collet is a vocab word. Sheen is C-H-I-N-E. Collet, C-O-L-L-E with a little fancy accent on the E. Basically, it means to glue or to glue your image um, as you print it. So sheen collet is a cool process to be able to add additional information. And what you should do is do the gluing on a uh, different surface, like over here and on newsprint, but just sit for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna do it on the press bed, which is a no-no, because we don't wanna get glue on the press bed or on our paper. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this nori paste on my mat chip, and I'm gonna just squeeze glue onto the back of it. And you wanna do this and already have your paper ready. Uh, so I have my paper that's already been soaking and it's in the blotters right now, kind of waiting for me to um, go ahead and do this glue. So uh, take a little bit of the nori paste, like a bead of it on the mat chip, scrape it onto the back so it's a nice, thin, even coating. Not too thin or it won't stick, and not too thick, not too thin because you don't want it to, um, you know, peel right off, but also not too thick where it's going to stick and squeeze out and then stick to your paper. But I'm putting image side down here and then glue side up between, and I, I don't know, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna put this up there this way. There's a little bit of residual ink. I painted an image on here. Make sure you put the nori paste back where it goes. Then I'm gonna take my dampened paper that's waiting over for me in the blotters over here. So it's a nice damp piece of paper. The wetness of the paper and the pressure of the press is going to make this stick. Now, when you're done, it might not be a bad idea to put this under weights. And what I mean by that is as it's drying, to allow for the glue to really stick and stand up, you should put a couple of pieces of newsprint over top of your print and then maybe put it under books. Uh, you can do that in the classroom or you can do it back in your room. But that way it'll dry nice and even and give it a really good adhesion. So remember, this is Sheen Collet. It's gluing an image into our print. It's a nice little technique that you can use throughout the semester, not just on this particular project. And it's cool because you can get kind of a really neat effect with the paper. This doesn't have to be an image either. It could be sheets of colored paper, scraps of things, And voila, is that pretty fresh? Look at that, it's pretty dope. You can see here's where I masked something off. Here is the collage and it's on there pretty good. But like I said, put this, I love how it hits here. I don't know why I made it said good and bad, but uh, that's what we have. So I love how it hits here with this edge. Uh, but yeah, this is Sheen Kaloi. Experiment, have fun with it, peace. Oh, don't forget when you clean up, since you've probably laid out a lot of color like this save those colors put them in saran wrap and use them next time or when you're looking for inks maybe check to see if there's already an ink mixed that could work for your print we might not be able to control everything in our lives but at least we know in printmaking this is a safe space where we can collaborate work together in the spirit of getting along and community and collaboration and when we come in, we want to be able to just work neatly, not get messed with, not have our stuff get messed with. And when we clean up, leave it better than we found it for the next person. So peace. See y'all.